Hey everybody, how you doing today? My name's Idle Chap, and I was going through my homepage this morning, just checking out some news, and there was a story there that really caught my eye because it was so just out of the ordinary and basically batshit crazy. What it was, and this is the exact headline, Woman Sells Virginity Online. And honestly, seeing that, I said, what the fuck? Because that is the most obnoxious thing to ever, ever do in anyone's life. So I clicked this story because who wouldn't after seeing that headline? And basically what it is, it was this Brazilian student or something like that, I think she was 20, who sold her virginity online. And it gets, it gets more ridiculous. The top bidder was some guy in Japan who bid, and I'm not joking, $780,000. The guy spent almost a million dollars to have sex with this, like, 20-year-old Brazilian chick which is the creepiest fucking thing ever. But that's not what I'm going to talk about today. What I'm going to talk about is this new mini-series that I'm starting right here. The gameplay that you're seeing right now is uh, COD 4 gameplay. It's Team Deathmatch on Wetwork. And uh, COD 4 is really the most dull and depressing game. Not in terms of the gameplay, but in terms of the visuals. And I realized this because I was trying to go through and do some color correction on uh, on this gameplay, and I realized that it's actually just terrible because it's all gray tones, so I can't do any kind of saturation or make any colors any brighter because it's all just gray. Anyways, again, that's not the point. I'm rambling again because I always do that, and you should know that by now, but if you don't, I always ramble. But what I want to do for this mini-series is basically, it's going to be called Road to Black Ops 2. And obviously what I'm going to do is I'm going to be bringing a game from every Call of Duty leading up to the current game right now, Modern Warfare 3, and I'm going to do that leading up to the release date of Black Ops 2, which is November 13th. So this is installment the first of this mini-series, and what I want to do with this, what kind of commentary I want to bring along with the gameplay from all the Call of Duties leading up to Black Ops 2, the commentary that I want to be doing is basically like a kind of a background of my start in gaming especially with uh, with call of, with the Call of Duty franchise but I also want to talk about some of the things that I think the developers really did right in the particular game that I'm going to be playing that week so today's topic obviously Call of Duty 4 this was the first Call of Duty game that I ever played um, I got it on the Xbox when I first got an Xbox after having uh, strictly Nintendo consoles for the longest time. I grew up with an N64, I then got a GameCube, and then got a Wii, which I never seem to play anymore because it's the Wii and who plays that. But Call of Duty 4 was one of the first games I ever played on the Xbox, and uh, I immediately got hooked on it, like uh, I'm sure a lot of people have. So I played that for probably the last few months that the game was out, before uh, Modern, or not Modern Warfare 2, uh, World at War came out, so I played for probably about three months, and I really enjoyed that game. Uh, it was also good that I only played it for about three months because it allowed me to get kind of acquainted with the Call of Duty franchise, so that I knew what to expect for from uh, future Call of Duty games. Now I don't have a whole ton of experience with this game because I probably played it five five ish years ago, I'd say, when I was only like 14 years old. That's a long time ago now that I think about it. But uh, I don't have a whole ton of experience, so I can't really comment too in-depth about uh, what the developers did really well for this game. But I know that this is basically the pinnacle against what all future Call of Duty games are going to be measured against. It seems that whatever new Call of Duty game comes out, everyone says, well, this isn't like Call of Duty 4, this isn't as good as Call of Duty 4. This is... Call of Duty 4 was kind of the benchmark against what all Call of Duties can be measured as. It seems like this was, in most people's opinion, the greatest Call of Duty ever created. A lot of people think that Call of Duty 2, I believe, I never actually played that game, but a lot of people seem to think that that was the best Call of Duty ever. Again, I really don't know because Call of Duty 4 was the first uh, Call of Duty that I ever played, so I can't comment specifically on that issue. But, um... I think that in Call of Duty 4, what they got really right was the balance of the game. And um, by that I mean gun balance as well as the balance of killstreaks. Because when customizable killstreaks really came in, that was when it started to seem like a lot of killstreaks were overpowered. So I think that Call of Duty 4 
was really great on the balance front. Anyways guys, I'm really running out of time because I rambled a lot this video. Stay tuned for my next episode, I'm going to be playing some World at War. So till next time, you guys take it easy.